Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sarah Starr, and I am checking out at Walmart. And I want to show you a couple things I'm buying. Um, so yeah, I am already at $25.87. And I'm buying a couple things because um, our school just shut down for next week for the virus. So I'm just getting stuff to have on, in my pantry. Um, I got some balls for the kids to play with. I each got them one. Um, the blue, the purple. I think they're like under like two dollars. I got cat food, um, but I'll show you the rest when I get home. I got some cornbread or buttermilk cornbread muffin mix. I've never tried that before. It looks good. Um, you know, just a little couple things like to stock up the pantry. I got more salt and um, oops, just a little bit of this, a little of that, vitamin C. Um, I got a floor fan. I need another one of those. And my daughter wanted this to, she loves to um, plant things. This was 98 cents. Beautiful color, right? So yeah, I want to show you everything I'm getting for now. Um, and then I will show you when I get home some of the stuff, like non-grocery items. I'll go ahead and show you um, what I got. Okay, guys? So stay tuned for that. And um, I'll see you soon. All right, guys. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sarah Starr, and I hope you're all doing amazing. And I just got back from Walmart and I have all this to show you guys. Oh, and my kitty wants to say hello. Come here, sweetheart. Come here. Oh, Loki, you wanna say hi? Um, my little baby baby wants to say hi. <laughs> um, so he, uh, what was I gonna say? So I went to Walmart. <laughs> That's Loki, my little kitten. He's getting big now. I think he turns a year old in like two days or something. But, um, so I went to Walmart today, guys. Um, so I have a haul to show you. Sorry. And, um, let me back up the camera a little bit. It's like cutting my head off here. Here we go. Is that better? I hope so. Okay. So I went to Walmart, but I have friend mail to open. I uh, checked my PO box and I have friend mail. So I'm going to go ahead and open that first and then I'll get into this Walmart haul to show you what I got. Okay. So, let's go ahead and see who this is from. It doesn't say who it's from, so I'm not sure. Um, so I'll go ahead and open it, but it's, it's really, really adorable. It's got the little red truck on there. So cute. And um, then it's got like a little, it says Fred Mail. And um, it's got the little tree, little apples on it. So, so cute. So, I'll go ahead and open this. And then um, I thought I would do the, both this and the Walmart haul combined. And I'm trying to get a lot of light in here, guys. I'm actually going to replace this uh, chandelier with the, like actual chandelier, um, like a crystal chandelier. But um, that will happen very soon. Um, my other house, we just moved here like three years ago. I replaced all these lights at our other house with chandeliers. So uh, that's my plan for this house as well. So I can't wait to get like a crystal chandelier there. Okay. Let's see who this is from. I hope you guys are having a good Saturday evening. I'm going to go ahead and open this. And I'm standing up, so I'm not usually used to standing up when I do my videos. So bear with me, guys, a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> I feel a little, like, like awkward standing up. I'm just not used to it. So I want to make sure I'm, like, you know, you're seeing me and stuff like that. Okay. I'm wearing my new earrings from Jeanette. See, Jeanette? I'm wearing them. I love them. I love all the earrings I just, you guys, all sent for my um, birthday. Um, so I love these earrings. Okay, so, oh my goodness, look at this. Tons of things in there, how nice. Okay, let me see. Who is this from? Whoopsies, okay. Oh my goodness. Sorry guys, I'm like dropping things. I've got to get it together. <laughs> I've got to get it together. Okay, all right. So, there's a beautiful like little um, Victorian card there. Let's see who this is from. Hope it says right in here who it's from. Oh, it doesn't say who it's from, so I don't know who this is from yet. We'll see, but that's beautiful. Um, oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Good, good, good. Okay, there's a note right here for me. All right, who are you from? Hi, Sarah. June, love the Vegas trip. I've been five times. It is so awesome. What a beautiful memory for a uh, for your 40th birthday. You are the best. Keep it going. How, I don't know... Uh, how I don't know with all you do. Sarah, all these little things thought of you. What, wish I, oh, when I saw them, your subby friend, June. Yes, I love June. She's so sweet. When I comment, could you by chance reply on my, uh, on my something mail? Would you reply on my, when I comment, could you, 
um, something reply on my something mail. I would love it. Oh, you want me to email you? She gave me her email. Sure, I'll send you an email, June, of course. Thank you again for all you do. So she sent me um, she sent me an email, her email. So I'm going to go ahead and email her. She wanted me to let her know when I got my um, friend mail. All right, June. Again, I've always said I love your name because my daughter is born in June and it gets such a beautiful name. Okay, so here's one of the items that she sent. Oh, Sarah thought these were so cute. Enjoy, June. Those are so cute. It's a little notepad, you guys, with little rhinestones on the little um, bottom of the feet. And I love that she wrote a little note for me on the back. That is so cute. And it's a little note card, notebook, or, you know, like a little, um, kind of like a post-it, but it's a little notebook. And I just got something in my eye. Something just flew in my eye. All right. Um, sorry, guys. One second. I'm like a little bit. There we go. Okay. Um, June, I love that. That is so cute. So, so cute. The next thing is right here. So cute. Little, each little like package. Oh my goodness, June. What is this, girl? Ooh, whoa. Oh my gosh. Those are beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, those are gorgeous. Let me, um, Put it with the blue as the background so you can see it. You guys, let me turn my light towards me a little bit more so you guys can see better. I have my um my light on me. You guys, look at how gorgeous these are. Those are so me, right? Oh, those are so pretty. Oh my gosh. Thank you, June. Those are so pretty with like a denim top, you know, like it'd be so cute because you know how I wear like a lot of denim. I love denim so much. Um, so cute, June. Thank you so much. And um, here's another one from June. So, so cute. Let's see. It says me, Sarah Star right there. <laughs> I love that. Okay. What is this? June Elf Eyeliner Pencil. Thank you so much. And it has a little sharpener in it. Yes, girl. I love that. That is so nice. And it's coffee, which I need because, you know, um, I have a lot of black eyeliner, but I don't have a lot of brown eyeliner. So I will definitely wear this. Thank you so much. And I like the e.l.f. products. And this color is coffee. I feel so, so close to the camera, you guys. I'm so sorry. Like, if this is like an extreme close up, I apologize really severely. I apologize if this is like way too close. But um, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see that far away. But um. I love this, June. Thank you so much. Um, that's my kitty over there playing that noise you just heard. And I have one more thing. Oh, I think I know what it is. What is this, June? Is it a pen? I think it's a pen. Ooh, that is gorgeous. It's the Flip Sequence Star Pen. I love this. So now I'm like all set because I have... Look at this, it's like so cute. And I'm actually gonna probably throw this in my purse, you guys, June, because I love a cute pen. And um, you know, people can see me using it like um, out in public. Like, so I think that's really cute. Even comes with a little pen cap so it doesn't dry out. But that is so cute, June. Thank you, honey, so much for sending me these things. And my kitten's about to knock over my camera. <laughs> Loki, come here, baby. But um, thank you so much, June. You are such a doll. You're always so kind to me, always so thoughtful, and I really appreciate it. And um, I'll definitely email you to let you know I got the items like you asked. So thank you so much, June. You really made my day. Thank you very, very much. Um, so I'm going to put everything carefully over here so I don't lose it because what I'm about to do is I'm going to show you. Thanks again, June. I really appreciate it, honestly. Like, so, so sweet. Oops. I'm going to put these back in here, and I'll put these up with my jewelry so I can wear these. Um, and I always love when you guys um, send me, uh, when you guys send me your notes. Like, I just, our cards, I keep everything, like I've said before. I always keep everything. Okay, so let me show you what I got at Walmart. So here it is. Okay, today and yesterday has been very expensive. I spent $250 yesterday at Sam's Club, as you know, and $250 today at around 250 today at Walmart. You guys, it got expensive. Here's why. You know the virus that's going around, starts with a C, and it's not a good virus. I, when I say, say that, I'm not trying to spread 
and I'm not, um, I don't want to make anybody nervous or concerned, but it's always better to be prepared than not, right? In fact, they closed my kids' school this week. For this coming week, my kids have no school. We just got the letter today in the email. So I was like, you know what? I just better get a couple more things just to be prepared. Um, so it's always good to have your pantry stocked. So this is what I have. So yeah, it's, it's unbelievable that my kids' school is closed. Um, uh, and I understand why. And, um, I appreciate them doing that. So it's just, I'm just trying to be like, you know, extra prepared. Plus when my kids are home, we eat more food too, right? Because they're not at school all day. So they're munching when they're at home. So I got extra food for that reason too. Um, so, all right guys, so let's go ahead and show you what I got at Walmart. Okay, so I picked up these, as you'll see, I, I have a video I took at the store, I'm not sure if I'm going to show it in this before I'm talking here. Either way, I bought four of these balls in different colors. These are $1.97, they're really super cute, you can see they like, they have a good bounce to them. So I picked up uh, a blue one, a purple one, a purple one, beautiful, huh? Purple. A hot pink one and a blue like marble one. So I picked up four for my four kids. All right, then I picked up a ton of yogurt because my kiddos love the Yoplait whips. And I think these were 60 cents each. Can't really remember. I think 60 cents each. And you'll see, I'm going to see how I can do this with the videoing. Uh, I picked up this was a dollar. The sour cream, the great value sour cream was only a dollar. So I picked up two of these. Um, and what I might do is I'm going to pause the video in a second, put these in the fridge because these are starting to get real, like they need to be in the fridge, guys. Like I don't want to play around when it's yogurt. I need to make sure it stays chilled. But um, I picked up a lot, guys. I'm just going to like show you really quick, like a lot of yogurt. And you know, you'll play with, it's very expensive yogurt. It's like 50, 60 cents a yogurt. But it's one of the only yogurts my kids like to eat. So I have to get it. I don't have a choice. So I'm going to pause the video really quick. I'll be right back and I'll, I'll show you the rest of what I got. Okay. All right. I also picked up this and I'm going to go throw this in the fridge real quick, but this is the Dananimals or Danimal smoothie for my son. He loves these. This is, you get six cotton candy and six strawberries. So one momento, I'll be right back. Okay guys. So here we go. Everything that's cold, I think has been put away. So that's good. All right. So now I picked up a ton of these Pringles. Okay, so we just, yummy chips. So I picked up a lot of the Pringles. I think they were $1.44, $1.45. So, um, yeah, so I got those. I picked up salt. Um, just want to have be prepared for that. Um, I hear preppers who prep for emergencies, they do suggest having salt to have because you know you need you know salt in your diet I guess I'm not sure exactly I'm not a nutritionist but uh, um, I guess you know it's good to have salt for seasoning or whatever and in, in, in like an emergency or something I have it so I picked up three I have a total of three of these that I just stocked up on I bought one more today so it makes it three total that I have of these Morton salts uh, Morton yeah the Morton salt so um, then I picked up the Great Value bow ties. These were like 78 cents, I think, each, which is a great deal. Uh, then got tomato soup. I think this was like 98 cents, you guys. Not a good deal. Not super, not super cheap. I do like the Great Value tomato soup. They didn't have any. You guys, the soups, the soup aisle was depleting a little bit. There was still soup, um, but it just wasn't, you can tell it's starting to, to, to dwindle a little bit, the supply of soup. Again, I'm saying that not as like a urgent to like run out and go get soup, but not at all. That's not what I'm meaning, but it just, it's kind of good to be prepared, you know? So that's why I picked up soup. Um, I did pick up some corn. I think it's like 50 cents. I like the ones that have the pull tabs. So I don't have to use the can opener. So there's that bag. Then um, I picked up, my daughter asked, for a lot of, she, she loves Top Ramen, and I know the DT, the Dollar Tree, has um, these two, these are like four or five for a dollar, so I couldn't get to the Dollar Tree today because I was at Walmart, so these were at 24 cents each at Walmart, so it, it, it's okay, it, it's about even from Dollar Tree, so I picked up that, I picked up Vitamin C, this was like five dollars and 44 cents, let me turn the light a little bit so you can maybe... I don't know if that's better, guys. Is that better? I don't know. $5.44 for the 
vitamin C, and this is chewable, which I, I like chewable. And then I picked up this for my dogs as a um, just a treat to go along with their other food. I just, you know, well, just this is like a treat. Um, my dogs are spoiled, so. Um, and I think all animals should be spoiled. So, yeah, I got this for my babies. And uh, so that was $1.77. Then I picked up broccoli cheese. You guys, this is some good soup. This is $1.66. Winco has a better deal on their soup, but um, I was at Walmart, so I just picked up the broccoli cheddar or broccoli cheese. And I love putting um, goldfish in it and just eating it like that. It's, like, really good, and it's, like, just really good. I picked up the Great Value Marinara Pasta Sauce. This was around a dollar, I want to say sixty-eight or dollar sixty-six, less than two dollars. So I picked up that. Another broccoli cheese, and it's like so awkward standing up doing this video, guys. I'm so used to sitting down. It's just taking me a minute to get my bearings. Um, I got more spaghettios because my kids love spaghettios. There you go. Again, love the pull tabs. All right, that's bag number two is done. Oh, here's another top ramen and sweet peas. Picked up one of those. Okay, again, full tab. Then I got another marinara sauce. And another tomato and another tomato. So two more tomatoes. So a total of three tomato sauce, uh, three tomato soups. All right. Then I picked up two of these waters, guys. So, yeah, I'm set for water. I don't know how much this was. I never even looked. I really should look. The receipt's in one of my bags. I'll let you know how much this water was. But I picked up two of them. I think you could probably see the other one right there. So, yeah, I picked up two of those. Then we'll get into this bag here. So I bought, you guys, seriously, like a ton, a ton of Top Ramen. They did not have the big back, uh, boxes of them. They were selling them separately, and they didn't have any hardly left. So these were, again, $0.24 cents each. I picked up these Crock-Pot liners. So these were the chip clip on the chip clip where I got these on. I found these over on a chip clip. They were saying $2.74, but when I rang them up, they were coming up like $3.28 or something like that. But I need these because I bought a lot of spaghetti to make spaghetti. Um, so you get quick and easy cleanup, and you get six slow-cooked liners. So I just went ahead and got two packs of those. So now I have 12 slow-cooked liners. That's a hard word for me to say. And then the information is on the back. This is kind of different from what I'm used to buying. I'm used to buying the um, the liners in the like Reynolds brand or something that makes them. I forget who makes the other brand. I picked up some, this was like 80 cents or so, the butter complete potatoes. So I got that. I got this. Doesn't this look good, guys? Buttermilk, um, cornbread and muffin mix. Yeah. It says just add water or milk. This was like 80 something cents. Not bad at all. So I love some cornbread. So, and actually I had chili. I just bought, guys, remember at Sam's Club yesterday? So chili and cornbread would be so, so good together. So I got that. Whoops. And some more. I mean, you guys, I bought a lot. Like, I'm not kidding when I say I bought a lot. Like, I bought a lot. And there's more in there. So I'm not going to take them all out. But my daughter wanted this cute little pot because she's into planting flowers and making things grow. So this was 98 cents. This comes in a gorgeous red. This was over in the garden section. It's a beautiful red one. She didn't want the red right now. She just wanted the blue. Um, and then she, uh, I think there was maybe one other color, but this is a beautiful blue. So 98 cents. And this is the inside. So she can go ahead and plant her flowers. She, so what she's doing, she's like taking seeds and she's like making her own, making them sprout and doing her own like growing. It's really cool of uh, uh, flowers. I bought this because guys, I love tuna. So <laughs> this was a dollar, the tuna, the lemon pepper, I think, lemon pepper. You know, a tuna's really good. And just another one of the buttermilk, uh, sorry, the cornbread mixes. And so there's that. All right. Then, a bag of chips. I'm not sure how much these were either. They're out of my tortilla chips that I normally like, the Mission tortilla chips. So I just picked up these. These are the on the border ones. I'm sure they're good. And I just grabbed those. 
Oh, okay. As far as price-wise, you guys, look at my receipt. Like, I am not kidding. I spent a lot today. It was, oh, 2 is a lot of money at the grocery store. Um, as far as, what was I going to tell you price-wise? What was I going to tell you that I was checking the waters? That's right. The water cost me, um, where are you, water? Water, water, water. I don't see it yet. Okay. I'll find it. It's in here somewhere. It's just this, you know, they, they shorten and they like, um, shorten, um, abbreviate things. So sometimes it's hard to tell what is what, but yeah, I'll, I'll get, if I can find it, I'll let you know, but I'm sure it's not too much. I hope not. Spring water, 83 cents plus 10 cents. Um, there it is right there. Spring water right there. Okay. I'll hold it there for a second. Okay. So then my daughter wanted a bunch of paints and since they're going to be home on a break, for this next week, this this week that we're coming into. So we picked up some granite gray. It's going to be hard to see, I know, because of the shadow in here. This was 50 cents, and she wanted this beautiful, it's called Two Blue, T-O-O -O Blue, Two Blue, and I'm going to turn the light. Is that better, guys? I hope so. I have a light on me. I'm trying to, because this room is kind of dark. Like, with, there we go. That might be better. There's the blue. I don't know. Sorry, guys. This was just too much to put in my studio, take all this <laughs> and record in my studio because my kitchen's right here. So I thought I would just do like my kitchen's that direction. So then the black, we got, uh, it's just the black and 50 cents. And then we got candy pink, 50 cents. There we go. That's better. I'm not in the shadow there. 50 cents. And this is a blue kazoo. It's about K O Z O O, blue kazoo. What's that? And this is called Concord Grape. Purple. Let's see the purple. All right, I picked up some of these guys. I'm a sucker for wax melts. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is a Thankful Harvest. This was 25 cents by Better Homes and Gardens. Oh my gosh. So. I didn't even smell it. I'm like, I know I'm going to love it. Oh my gosh. It smells so good, guys. It was 25 cents. So that's a really good value for that. Then I picked up, whoo, I picked up fall leaves, which I've bought in a candle before. So I know I love this. Sorry. Fall leaves. Oh, it's heaven. Heaven. Fall leaves. Then I got... Banana pumpkin bread, yum, 25 cents, guys. Oh my goodness, this smells like caramel and pumpkin, and oh, it smells so good, so, so good. I wish you guys could smell this. Oh, it smells so good. Then, the last one I got is pumpkin spice. Like I said, I didn't even smell these, I just threw them in my cart. I'm like, 25 cents, oh my goodness, so delicious. 25 cents. All right. Then, oh, another paint. We got a pale daffodil. There's a nice little yellow right there. And I got this. This is hairball control for my cats. It's tuna flavor. So tuna flavor, hairball control. Let me see. If, is this better lighting if I stand like this maybe? Maybe. Tuna flavor. Then the light's like, whoo, right on me. And then you, <laughs> then you guys can see all my flaws. So maybe I won't be standing that close to the light. Okay. Then... We got white, just white, because it's a good mixer color, the white, and this is just called Snow White, which, that's cute, cute little name. 50 cents. All right, that bag is done with. Um, you guys, seriously, I have so much more to show you. This is like nuts. Okay. Uh, then I got a ton more of the marinara. I just want to be like stocked up, guys, on my spaghetti sauce. So, yeah, I picked up that. Sorry, my, my camera just like froze. Um, all right, so by the way, I, want to, I wanted to mention the weirdest thing. Okay, I did my DNA ancestry and um, I have an Instagram account, guys, or Instagram page. I never know how to say it. You guys know I always like stumble on whatever I say Instagram page or whatever. 
it's me Sarah Star is my Instagram name. So if you want to find me on me Sarah Star, I post pictures all the time and everything like that. I got my DNA results back from Ancestry.com yesterday. Finally, I did. I sent it in January and I just got my results back today or yesterday. And I am like zero percent Italian, and which is blowing my mind. Because, and I know that I guess the results can change as more information can come in, but if I, I posted what my percentages are of what I'm made up of. My great grandparents, my great, great grandmother and grandfather were born in Italy. I have all the like, I have their birth certificates, everything, like all this information to, I know they are, I mean, I have proof and it's like family, we all know. My great grandparents came from Italy, were, I mean, were born in Italy and they came uh, to the United States. So I like thought I would be showing up a little bit, of, I mean, a lot of Italian because like I said, that's my dad's side. So, and then, you know, my grandmother was 100% Italian because her parents were from Italy, like Italian. And I have no, it looks like no Italian in my DNA. And I'm like, what is happening here? Like, this is like, I feel like it, it was a little bit of a shock because like I said, I, I don't understand how that works because I must have inherited more of my mom's DNA. So, um, it's, it's fun though. It's really fun. So when I see spaghetti sauce, I think about my grandmother cause she always made homemade spaghetti and homemade Italian food and it was delicious. And it was like the real deal. It was so delicious cause she was Italian. And when I see, you know, when they, I know that spaghetti sauce is called Sugo. Like I know all this Italian stuff and I'm like showing up that I'm like not Italian at all. I don't understand. I don't understand. There's gotta be a reason. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's confusing to me. I have to be somewhat Italian. It's just got to be somewhere. Maybe when it's listed in the States, you'll see it when you, if you go to my Instagram, it breaks it down and maybe part of a, a where they clump the States together or the uh, countries. Maybe that's where I'm percent. I don't know. I'm mostly, um, uh, German and British and like European. So that's mostly what I'm made up of. So German and like British. So I had no idea. So anyways, all right, back to the haul. Okay. I got a ton more soup guys. Seriously. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I got a ton of soup. Cheese tortellini for days. This was like 166 or something. Um, I'll go a little bit quicker guys. Cause I don't want to bore you too much. We're already, oh my gosh, almost at 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, corn, more sugo or spaghetti sauce as we'll call it. And another soup. Okay, then I picked up mandarin oranges, you guys. These were like less than $5. It was like $4.98, and you get uh, 12 cups, and um, they're whole segments and 100% juice, and my kiddos love this, and it's a great, you know, you put them in the fridge. They taste really good, cold, and so I bought two boxes of those. Let's see. Can you guys still see me over there? So I got two boxes of those right there. I got... Bring this over here. I'm like running out of room. I got two of these Hershey snack size. These were like three or four dollars, maybe four ninety. Expensive for Hershey. Usually I can get a better deal at like Walgreens or Target, but so I got those. Then, guys, this is just like full of like canned goods, and I got rotatini. Ro ro why can't I say that? Rotini. Why was I going to say something else? Rotini. And more Sugo. And a ton more soup, guys. I just want to be prepared, you know. More SpaghettiOs. More soup. Again, the broccoli cheddar. And more SpaghettiOs. So I got those. Then, um... I got cat food, and I had a coupon today, guys. Are you proud of me? <laughs> I saved $2 off. So this was like $14.98, and I saved $2 off of it. So, um, yeah, picked up that. Then my daughter wanted this for her plants because she's planting, you know, like doing all the planting seeds like I mentioned earlier, making them into um, actual flowers, watching them, the process of them growing. So she wanted plant food. And this, this was like $2.24. So you get all those little sticks, those plant sticks to feed, I guess, the plants. I'm not sure. The directions are on the back. So $2.24. Then 
I got paper plates. So when I give my cat their my cats their wet food, it's on this instead of um, regular. You know, I can throw these away. And so you get 50 soap proof plates, which I like. Then I got a bunch of soap dyes. The soap. Oh, there was not a lot of soap at Walmart today. This is all I could choose from. This was 98 cents. I don't particularly like soft soap. Uh, I prefer actually Dollar Tree brand, but this is all they had. So I got that. I mean, I know I wasn't at the Dollar Tree, but <laughs> if I could get to the Dollar Tree today, I would have bought the soap there instead of Walmart. So um, I got this for Hubby. It's the Axe Ice Chill Fresh Deodorant Body Spray. Okay, so there it is. Don't know if there's like a shadow going on this. And then I got him his deodorant. He really likes the Axe deodorant. Then I picked up a thing of three things of toothpaste, the Crest three pack. This was like $6.97 or something like that. And I picked this up for me. It's a sensitive toothpaste, Colgate. And then I picked up, what was this? Bandages, flexible bandages. This was like $1.67. Again, Dollar Tree wins for pricing of bandages, but I was at Walmart, so yeah, I got those, and then I'm excited fleece one and this is like a um a uh, velvet one so I have both now and I just love throws as you guys know and I love this print so I went ahead and got this and this was only five dollars from fourteen ninety three five dollars from fourteen ninety three so I was like sure get in my cart right so this is the last one they had so I cannot wait to cuddle up on the couch and watch TV with this I cannot wait Anyways, guys, that is my Walmart haul. Oh my gosh, I'm like out of breath from running around. But I hope you enjoyed this haul, and I hope that, um, you know, it helped you see what was at Walmart. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just glad I was able to grab a couple more things. And I'm going to try to put this all away now. And, you know, there's a, I, I'm very organized, so I'm going to go ahead and put this. My, <laughs> my son is talking in the background, but I'm going to put this all away now. And because I can't, you know, I have to have this organized. So I'm going to get this all put away. And, um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this haul. And if you're new to my channel, I would love if you would subscribe. My returning friends and family, thank you so much for being here. Oh my gosh, 35 minutes I've been talking. <laughs> if you guys are here till the end, you guys are troopers. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. And yeah, so have a wonderful Saturday evening. It, <clears throat> excuse me. Lost my voice there. It rained today, guys, which is like craziness because yesterday it was like 70 something degrees. That's why I'm in a sweatshirt. 
But um, yeah, it was super hot yesterday, super cold today. So we are doing like a 180 here in California. But um, anyways, again, thank you so much for being here. And I hope you enjoyed this haul. And so till next time, take care, everybody. Can't wait to see you tomorrow with my next haul. So God bless you all. And I'll see you soon with my next haul. Okay, guys. Bye.